Hey everyone, it's uh, 10 to 10 on a Monday evening and I can't see what the actual date is because there's a fluff ball in the way of the monitor. It is, if I lean forward, the 20th of November. Right. <sighs> Don't know where it starts. Again, there's a lot to talk about. I've got a lot of content for an actual vlog. Um, well, I've got to go, I think it's on the 30th of November, I've got to go and uh, have a blood test for my annual, and bye -bye, I'll try that again, annual diabetic checkup. I'm always late for it, because I always forget the appointments, but Anyway, I've got to go for the Bloods on the 30th. And then a week after that, I've got to go and see the diabetic nurse for the actual review and whatnot. Uh, and in between then, I think it's the Monday. Yeah, Monday the 3rd of December. I've got to... Get off the camera, you dipstick. <laughs> I've got to go and see my doctor. Because... Uh, I seem to have a bit of a, a short temper at the minute. Um, and I have to admit, my mood has been down and uh, that's why I've not been pumping out the video as I normally do. Not even on my LEGO channel. I missed last Friday's just because of my mood. Because I was, you know, in one of them holes that uh, is common with autistic people. It just hits at random, so I don't know if it's actually due to my autism, or if it's just the time of year, maybe, because I've never, well, when I was a kid, I loved this time of year, you know, I loved the build-up to Christmas, and the build-up to Christmas Day. These days, I'm just, I just don't find it as exciting anymore, mixed with the shit weather that we're getting, which is... You know, it's understandable, you know, it's November, it's not going to be summer weather. Although, I have got my central heating on at the minute. I must have put that straight back in its place. I've got so much Lego that I still need to put in its place. But I keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And the problem is, when I do that, the amount of Lego I've got to put in place keeps building up and building up and building up. <laughs> it's like a, um, an everlasting... I suppose it's like a circle, you know, it never ends. And I've got a bit of a snuffly nose as well, but uh, that's down to my sinuses, so... I can actually solve... No, I can't, I need two hands. I was going to say I can solve that right now, but... I need to... Uh need to hold one nostril down like that and then snort it basically up the other nostril because <sighs> my nostrils are getting sore again <sighs> but this weekend maybe when I've been paid I want to have a day um, just here cleaning up because uh, this whole flat really needs it. I want to clean it top to bottom. I want to reduce as much clutter again from this room. I've got some light fittings that eventually I want to take a look at for YouTube. But um, I've been rescuing. Uh, but I don't want to do those yet. They can go in storage. I think I need to get a bit ruthless and um, get rid of a bunch of stuff as well. Because I have just got far too much stuff. I've still got plenty of room in the outside closet. But that's not the point really, is it? I've just got a shed loads of stuff that I don't use. I've got an alarm clock in here. An electronic one down there. That my dad gave me, but I've never used it. It's just sat here doing nothing. Um, I've got a set of bike forks here that 
I don't use and don't need. I've got a light fitting up there, you know. Do I really need to keep that light fitting? Where can I put it? <laughs> There's nowhere to put it. Speaking of lights, actually, I'm going to do a bit of uh, funky lighting in this hallway. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do it yet. <laughs> um, what I want to do is to create a uh, some sort of lighting effect. I'm not even sure what sort of lighting effect I want to go for. But I want to get some uh, spools of LED lights like this. I think this is only a 5 meter one. I can't remember. So the D strip must not be connected to another one. Damn it. I might have to get some on eBay then because I think I will. But what I was toying with doing, like I said, I haven't figured out whether I want to do it around the bottom here or around the top of the room. Uh, let's get some LED strips and just go around the edge as much as I can. All the way around the edge here. Like I said, I haven't decided if I want to go around the top of the hallway or if I want to run it around, you know, just above the skirtings and whatnot. Which is going to be a bit more tricky because obviously I've got the gaps in the doorways to uh, deal with, which means I might have to... Uh, well, I'd either have to run the LEDs, you know, up and around the door frame, like Anglin Water did with this cable for some reason. Get the, the, this cable here, that's for my water meter, which is outside the front door. You know what they've done? They've come in through there, they've gone all the down, around the skirt board, up and over the door frame and back down, all the way along, all the way up, along and down, and then into the cupboard. You know what I would have done, which would have actually saved a heck of a lot of work and a lot of cable clipping, actually. I, because this light switch wouldn't have been there when this was installed, because this was installed afterwards, but I would have come in there I would have gone up, along, and around. Again, that was installed after I moved in, so that wouldn't have been there. This meter was installed before that. All the way along, all the way around the bloody top. That might be a problem, but then again, I can see a gap between the ceiling and the um, trunking, so... Or I'd have just cut a little hole in the side of it and gone through. In. And this top panel comes off, so I would have drilled a hole through there and gone down on the inside. It would have been a heck of a lot easier. I don't know why the Anglin Water engineer that installed it did it in such an arse about face way. You know, it would have it wouldn't have needed all this clipping, it wouldn't have needed as much cable. And it wouldn't have been as much work. But anyway, yeah, that's for the outside light that one. That's the isolator and transformer for the fan in the bathroom. I've got Nemo and me tripping over. Uh, I can actually turn these lights off now because I've just done a review video there for the Lego channel. Uh, I'm trying not to miss because on my Lego channel I've, I've set a schedule where I upload on a Tuesday today. And a Friday. It was a Monday, but I was having big troubles keeping to the Monday. Because, um, uh, I don't know, I just like to keep to a schedule with that. Because, uh, weirdly enough, I seem to be able to come up with more content for that channel. Well, I just suppose it's not weird, considering how much of it I've got. Uh, then I can this channel. I, I'm running out of ideas for this channel. I can do plenty of vlogs like this, you know, where I leave it a few days where I can talk about various things that are happening and various things that I'm going to be doing and whatnot and show you some various things. Because <laughs> uh, now that I bring that up, I can actually show you. I've got another PC project in here, which reminds me I need to speak to my brother. I might photograph this, actually, and send it to him. Uh, this is a 
PC that I bought from, I was going to say a car boot, but it wasn't. It was yard sales in a village. Um, someone was selling it for just £10. And I had the i3 um, dual-core hyper-threaded processor in it, along with 4 gigabytes of RAM. And I was convinced when I bought it, it wasn't going to work. I thought, £10, it isn't going to work. I thought, for £10, I've just gone and bought myself a... You know, a relatively nice case. With maybe a working stick of RAM that was in it. <laughs> but uh, no, it did work. So I've stuck all that in my current rig. Because it was a better processor than the one I'm current... Well, well, the one that I was using. Um, but I stuck this motherboard in. But my brother wants a PC like this with DDR2 RAM and a dual core processor that he can build into a Windows XP gaming machine so he can play some of the older PC games and he's got a Dell that I gave him which I wouldn't mind pinching back if I could <laughs> uh, um, but this one I'm thinking it's better for him because you can upgrade this one a lot better you know, he could put a much better video card in it. I wouldn't include this one. In fact, I've probably got a better one right here, actually. This one should do that sort of gaming perfectly fine. And I know this one works, so I might actually chuck this one in and say, Hey, bud, you want to do a straight swap? <laughs> you know, I could even install Windows XP on it and uh, throw in a couple of um, IDE hard drives. So he's got space. That one's only a 40 gig, but I could actually. Not unless he wants to go SATA, which he probably will actually. That'd be the only thing that he would need to get for it as a SATA hard drive. Or take it out of the other Dell, I don't mind. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, still things I want to talk about, but I need to go and use the bathroom. Be right back. Well, that feels better. <clears throat> right. I've also, while I had the camera off, took a photo of this PC. I'm not going to be miffed if my brother says no, it's up to him. It's just an idea I had, you know. This is much more upgradable, including the power supply and everything. Um, that's just what I was thinking. Plus, I want my PC back. <laughs> well, listen, if he doesn't want to swap, he doesn't want to swap. Anyway. On the subject of PCs, I have built another one. I haven't found where I'm going to store this one yet, but I built this one up. And I don't think I'll put screws in the panel. Nope. That's what it's like on the inside. It's got that AMD motherboard in it with the um, blue and yellow. RAM, or DIMM slots I should say. Uh, two of them are not occupied. Uh, but for those that don't know, this was my motherboard that I did, um, well, when I built this computer up for a friend. Um, we traded it all for something, I can't remember what the hell we traded it for now, but... Um, and uh, he really, really wanted a DDR3 setup, you know, a DDR3 RAM. And uh, what we ended up doing, when I built the new rig in here, I traded my old motherboard from my old system and a few other bits and pieces for whatever he didn't want with this system, which he didn't want the motherboard and the RAM. And, I don't think he actually took a great deal from it, to be honest. Uh, maybe the fans? I can't remember. So, uh, I don't know why, but I took the motherboard out of this. But I decided to put it back in with my old video card. And the 550 watt power supply and whatnot. And uh, even though the board came with 8 gigabytes of RAM, I've only got 4 because the other 2... Pardon me, or on a Dell machine through there, which I might actually take off and put back on this one. Oh, pardon me, put back on that one. Uh, 
my brother might even trade for that one. <laughs> I don't really want to because I've wanted, uh, you know, a kick-ass DDR2 rig for a while. I don't know why, I think I just... Well, it will go over here eventually, maybe. <laughs> um, my little sort of uh, PC museum, I suppose. Be nice if I could actually get a couple of old laptops on display on here somewhere, but I would then need to find a home for that stereo. But I like the stereo there. Could put a shelf in there, I suppose, to put a couple of laptops on. Find a home for that CD rack. Because uh, I don't want it to live there. I ain't got nowhere else to put it at the minute. My flat's not big enough. Uh, it's not that it's not big enough, it's that I filled it with too much bloody crap. Which is why I am seriously thinking I need to go on a... on a... Um, spree and get rid of as much crap as I can. Right. That goes in there now. Where's my street light? The head for the street light. There it is. I broke the street light when I was doing a review. There we go. <laughs> oh, and video loader has done a update. All right, but I don't want to ramble on too much for this video because I don't like my videos going on for well. I try and keep them around about 20 minutes to half an hour max. There's a vlog, vlogger I watch that goes on for a lot longer, but this is just my preference. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I will talk to you all again in the next video. Bye!